Cardinal Marbutros Bishara al-Ra'i, the Maronite Patriarch of Antioch and the Orient, called for bringing peace to Syria and the region. He called upon the international community to shoulder its responsibility in this field. During his visit to Caracas, he asserted that the Arab region is the cradle of the three monolithic religions. Therefore, there is no justification for any fighting on our beloved land. The Patriarch said that we should achieve understanding under the Arab roof and stop war and destruction in the Arab homeland, adding that the flow of weapons from the West should stop. The German Defense Minister Thomas de Maizière renewed Germany's opposition to any foreign military intervention in Syria. He asserted that such intervention would be negative. Moreover, it would require huge costs and lead to great losses. The news camera visited the borderline between the Syrian area of Jusia and the Lebanese area of al Bekaa. This road was always full of passengers and travelers between Syria and Lebanon. However, many citizens said that this border area had become a place for smuggling weapons and terrorists into Syria from Lebanon. Many villages in this area became playgrounds for terrorists who dug tunnels. However, they are confronted and defeated continuously at the hands of the Syrian Arab army. In the Homs countryside, Syrian Arab army units have restored security and stability to various villages, namely al dimnia al gharbiya Ash al-Warwar and al haydariya They continue to chase the remaining terrorists and to calm other villages in the western countryside of Al-Qsir. They found many tunnels, hideouts and dungeons used by the terrorist gangs against innocent citizens. The Minister of Health, Dr. Saad al Nayef, discussed the efforts to supply the needs of the health institutions with Mr. Magniet Part, chairman of the mission of the International Committee of the Red Cross in Damascus, and his accompanying delegation. They also discussed supplying citizens with certain medical compounds, particularly medicines dealing with swelling. These medicines are not available because of the unjust Euro-American sanctions imposed on Syria. Dr. Naif stressed the necessity of efforts that should be exerted by the humanitarian organizations to supply Syria with its medical needs. Mr. Part asserted that the budget of the Red Cross mission in Syria has been increased. For the second day, the political seminar held by the Union of Journalists continued in the lecture room in Al-Assad National Library in Damascus. The seminar discusses several topics, including the role of culture and the media in overcoming the crisis. Several experts, researchers, media men, artists, and Syrian and Arab figures are taking part in this seminar. They stress the importance of dialogue in order to find a safe outlet from the crisis. They also asserted the importance of consolidating the course of resistance in order to liberate lands. Iranian Foreign Minister Ali Akbar Saleh asserted that the security of this region is ruled by the extent of collective cooperation and coordination among its states. He renewed Iran's principled policy based on enlarging the framework of this cooperation and consolidating relations with the regional countries, particularly Iran's neighbors. During his meeting with his Saudi counterpart, Saud al Faisal in Jeddah, Saleh mentioned Iran's efforts to contribute to regional security and to alleviate the suffering of the people through finding peaceful solutions to their problems problems, particularly in Syria, Bahrain and Iraq. He considered the differences of opinions among them about regional issues as a natural thing.